Hello and welcome back to another jersey collection video. As today we're going through all my baseball jerseys alphabetically by team name. Let's go. We're starting the collection off mighty strong with this Cincinnati Reds throwback 1936 jersey. This is the only jersey in my collection that I paid full price for, doing so the year it was released in 2019 at the Great American Ballpark Store. In 2019, the Reds celebrated their 150th anniversary as a Major League Ball Club, and throughout the season, they wore 15 throwback jerseys. This was a 1936 Palm Beach jersey, topped off with red pants. The jersey was initially created to incorporate a lighter fabric instead of the heavy flannel jerseys that baseball teams traditionally wore at the time. The jersey would be used as an alternate from 1936 to 38, but it was only paired with the red pants in 1936, and I was fortunate enough to go to the game where they had this jersey. There's not too much to the design with the script reds in the chest, but the red buttons really add a nice classy detail to the cream color jersey. The script reds logo is heat applied but has faux stitching around it to make it look like it's stitched onto the jersey. This is a majestic cool base Cooperstown edition, so it's nice and breathable and lightweight. Next we have the Cincinnati Reds 1972-87 to home jersey that I got on a pretty good deal on eBay in 2021. This is another majestic Cooperstown Edition throwback jersey. It's a pullover style with no buttons, and some nice ring trim around both the collar and the sleeves. The logo itself is heat applied, but is topped off with some faux stitching to it. The Cincinnati Reds also wore these jerseys during their 75-76 Big Red Machine era back-to-back -back World Series. And there's probably some people out there thinking that they wore these jerseys for the 1990 World Series team. However, they changed the cuffs on the jersey to have red, white, and red stripes instead of just the red and white. Next up, we go to the Cleveland Guardians. I have this beautiful red alternate jersey from 2019 that I got from the MLB shop. This jersey was only worn for one season because it was done by Majestic, and in 2020, the MLB switched over to having Nike jerseys, and they created this exact same jersey, but with Nike. This red jersey is a nod back to the jersey that the Indians wore in the 1970s, which were paired with red pants at that time. However, this one has a script Indians font on the front and has buttons on it. I love the MLB logo on the back of the neckline, as well as the blue rings around the neck and the cuffs. This one also has the faux stitching done around the script font. And this is a nice, lightweight, breathable fabric because it is a majestic cool base design. Next up, we have the newest baseball jersey to my collection, as this is the contrast jersey that was worn as a road alternate in 2019. As this navy blue jersey just says Cleveland across the front in bold block letters. Once again, it was only worn for one season because of the switch to Nike. And I got this jersey to more closely align with the team's new brand and identity. And it was a lot cheaper to get this from eBay than to get one of the Nike ones or one of the new ones that are due to come out soon with the updated font to it. This is a very plain yet classy jersey as the two color numbers have two rows of the faux stitching on them. Just like the previous one, it has the MLB logo on the neckline and is a cool base jersey. Next up is the 2000-2016 alternate Colorado Rockies jersey that I acquired from eBay in 2021. This jersey was updated in 2017 to include a brighter shade of purple. Just like the Cleveland jersey we saw before, it has no extra details besides the letters on the front. It is kind of a weird serif font that the Rockies use, but the silver has a little bit of a sparkle to it which is a nice touch. Since this is an older jersey, it doesn't have that faux stitching on it. Instead, the numbers are more of a silkscreen vinyl material that are stitched onto the jersey, so it has actual stitching on it but the letters themselves are of a little lesser quality. However, I'm a big fan of the purple color in this jersey and it's a nice light breathable fabric being a cool base. Shortly after I moved to the Milwaukee area, I had to pick up a Brewers jersey. And this is my favorite Brewers jersey of all time. One from 1972 to 77 as an away jersey. I was able to pick this up on a pretty good deal on eBay in 2021. It's a Cooperstown Collection majestic throwback cool base jersey with a pullover style with rings, sleeves, and necklines featuring royal blue and gold as the main color of the jersey is light baby blue. And you're quickly gonna find out here what my favorite color is through this one in the next few jerseys. Just like the Colorado jersey, it's an older style with the numbers bringing a silkscreen vinyl material that are stitched onto the jersey. So they have a little bit of shininess to them. The jersey is completely blank on the back, but it's a really nice clean look. And the Brewers do bring this look back from time to time, but they wear it with the script Milwaukee on the front that was worn from 1978 to 84. After the Tampa Bay Devil Rays rebranded to just the Rays, they came up with this awesome secondary alternate jersey, which they wore from 2010 to 2019. Once again, I picked this up a pretty good deal from eBay in 2021. The jersey's a beautiful baby blue color, 
and is trimmed with traditional baseball piping in navy blue, going down the front, around the buttons, and around the neck and sleeves. The MLB logo is colored to the raised colors. And this is again one of those silkscreen vinyl logos that's stitched directly onto the jersey, so it has a shiny appearance to it. And it's a nice, lightweight, breathable material since it is a cool base. But I really love the color of this jersey, and I think they have a great pop on the field. And I think it's one of the best jerseys in baseball currently. Next up, we have my favorite jersey in my collection, and my favorite jersey in all the MLB. And I think you can probably tell what my favorite color is by now. This is the Toronto Blue Jays 2020 to present alternate jersey by Nike that I got as a gift from the MLB shop. This jersey is a nod back to the original baby blue jerseys that the team wore in the 1970s. It's paired with light blue pants as it was done back then and today. However, the jersey features a full button down down the front, but still has the familiar ring sleeves as the old ones. The font the Blue Jays use is absolutely gorgeous, with the navy blue on the outside and the white down the middle. When Nike took over MLB jerseys, they did it very similar to how the majestic ones were done in 2019, with the faux stitching added to the graphics. That provides a really nice detail to the jersey. You can see the Blue Jay has great detail and great vibrant colors to it. And the jersey is also a nice lightweight breathable material. Next up, we have the National League All-Star Game, from when it was hosted in Cincinnati in 2015. I got this jersey as a gift during the All-Star Weekend, and this jersey features Cincinnati player Todd Frazier on the back, who won the Home Run Derby that year. This jersey is inauthentic and the exact same as what they wore on the field, so it features some beautiful stitching quality in it, as all the graphics are stitched onto the jersey itself. The MLB and the Reds did a fantastic job branding this, as it really used the Cincinnati Reds iconic hat and mustache as a great centerpiece of the logos. Since it's a Todd Frazier jersey, it does feature the Cincinnati Reds C patch on the sleeve. The material itself is really stretchy and breathable, and the back of the jersey includes some really nice double layer tackle twill stitching for the numbers and single layer for the name, as this is definitely one of my most prized jerseys in my collection. And the final jersey we have to talk about, I actually found recently at a really good deal, is a 2013 Netherlands alternate World Baseball Classic jersey. So being Dutch and having Dutch heritage, this jersey is really important to me because the Netherlands shocked the world in 2013, finishing fourth in the World Baseball Classic, knocking out Cuba in the quarterfinals of the tournament to advance to the semis. Just like the National League All-Star jersey we saw before, this jersey is completely stitched and of really high quality material, as it's super stretchy and breathable. It features the word Netherlands in Dutch, Nederland, on the front of the jersey, topped off with a nice crown. The letters are all double layer tackle twill stitched onto the jersey, and the sleeve patches show off the 2013 World Baseball Classic logo and also the flag of the Netherlands. This is an absolutely awesome jersey and I'm so happy to have it in my collection, especially considering all the historical value that comes with it. Alright, thank you so much for watching today's video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos just like this. I will see you very soon for another stadium review video. Bye.